Javier in Madrid, J-A-V-I-E-R. I'm sure someone's going to correct me on that one, but I'm going with Javier in Madrid. And he says, hey, Paul, what do you think about crosstalk cancellation? I have a box from the Carver company made in the 90s, and it works great with uh, older recordings and not so much with what others uh, recordings is, but what is the reason not to be incorporated in a majority of systems and only a few like the Weiss have this option in their DSP? Okay, crosstalk cancellation. Well, let's, let's first explain what that is because I'm sure not everybody knows what it is. When we listen to these two speakers, okay, we're sitting in our seat and we're listening to the two speakers. Sound from the left speaker hits my left ear first, and then in the short period of time between hitting here, it hits here. So my left and my right ear hear the left speaker. And same is true with the right speaker. So you wonder, well, how is it that I hear things just on the left? How do I know it's just coming from the left? Well, your brain figures out that the what arrives first, and it measures that, is coming from this direction. And it ignores, sort of, what's hitting over here. It puts it to the side. And that's how we hear left and right, because in a sense, it's kind of mono. I mean, both ears are hearing both speakers all the time. But again, it hits first. So crosstalk cancellation happens when we take the left channel output and we put a little bit of it into the right channel out of phase. Okay, so what happens? Well, remember when the left channel plays, the left hand, uh, he ear hears it and then the right hears it? Well, if you put it out of phase, some of that, it cancels what the right ear is hearing and the image spread goes huge. You may have been familiar with Roger Waters. He came out with the, um, of course, I'm going to forget the name of the album, but it used what's called Q sound. Just look up Roger Waters and Q sound. And that was phase crosstalk cancellation that made, when you sit and listen to that album, things are happening all around you. Polk Audio years ago came out with the SRS which is the, I forgot what it stood for, but basically they used uh, crosstalk cancellation between the two speakers and there was a cable going between the two. It, it really does work. It's a little gimmicky in that it's um, very dependent on you sitting in the central uh, uh, seat. It isn't as easy as one might think. And so to do it in an analog sense takes some gyrations. And most of us in the industry don't really use it a lot because it's, I don't want to say it's gimmicky because it really has a basis in, 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 in fact, in reality. So it can be a valuable tool. We just don't use it a lot because in these speakers, you don't really need it. The image from these speakers, from our little F10s, from the 20s, what, whatever, these are designed such that you don't need to hear that. You're, you've got a wall-to-wall -wall image front to back. And anybody that's ever been here will tell you, it's like, how do those speakers disappear? How do you get wall-to-wall -wall when really they're just pointing at you? These things just disappear. So you can do it without crosstalk cancellation, and you don't really need that once you get to a certain level of high-end audio. Now, having said all of that, there are advantages to it. I'm working on a kind of a cool uh, concept of a single speaker. Now, this isn't replacing these by any stretch of the imagination, but there's a lot of people who don't want these in their room, right? They're, they're big. Even though they do what you want, they are pieces of furniture that are sitting in your room. So there's a whole lot of people who would love to have something like this, but aren't willing to have the boxes and the cables and the box, you know, all this stuff. So I'm working, it's a little pet project, on building 
a single speaker without all the boxes. You plug it in, it's wireless, it's self-amplified, all that stuff, and it will be a stereo speaker, but just without two channels. And to do that, we're gonna have to use some of that crosstalk cancellation, all kinds of cool tricks and things. But anyway, that's something we'll talk about later. Okay, thanks for the question. Hope that helps. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.